Okay, so thank you for joining me tonight. This is actually something that I am um, really passionate about because um, being calm when you're at work is, well, pretty important because work takes up a big part of our life. So um, some of the words that we kind of associate with work, well, things um, I used to associate with work, uh, words like, um, I've got some notes here, so as I look away. So things like stressed, overwhelmed, burdened, hectic, frantic, chaos, um, burnt out. These are some of the words that a lot of people um, do associate with work. And how, how would it feel for you if we could flip that? And some of the words that we could associate with work were calm, relaxed, invigorating, energetic, stimulating, focused, something like that. Like, how would that feel to you to have that flip around for you? And I know for me and the experience that I've had, that change totally changed every element of my life. And that's why I actually share how I do. So I want to um, go over tonight some ways that you can help implement a calmer working environment for um, if you're an employee, um, so that you can help support yourself if you're an employer and you have staff, but also just for you, even at home, to help make your days better so that going to work is going to help be a more <laughs> enjoyable experience for you. So just a little background on myself. Um, I have been an employee since I could have been, which was, I think, 14 and nine months old. I had my job, my first job straight up. So I've been in the workforce for a long time let's say 10 years, 14 and 10, 24, right? No, a bit longer than that. Um, so I've been in the workforce for a while. In 2002, um, I, I actually um, opened my own business and started a mobile pet grooming business. So that was um, a sole trader and I was going around washing and grooming people's dogs. In 2007, I actually opened my first grooming salon alongside that. And um, I, I did have a couple of employees that worked for me while I was mobile that kind of started in 2004 2005 so there was a couple of years there just with one or two employees and then as I opened a grooming salon in 2007 that really changed my my interaction with people as a an employer and I got to see a different side to people and see um, really intricately uh, how people kind of I guess, cope or don't cope in a work situation. And through the years that I actually ran um, my dog grooming business, um, so 2007 through to I sold um, my business in 2016. So there's 10 years of um, actually having employees in a location and before that I had them outside of that. I, I actually found within the grooming industry, and this is not just exclusive to the grooming industry, but particularly for people who work with animals, um, they tend to be quite... No, not tend to be. There are a lot of people who have um, lots of emotional issues and we tend to be people pleasers. There can be mental issues that really need some help and support there to work through and make the work environment a lot calmer place to be. And I know that if I had of found these oils that I've been using to support myself a lot earlier, I probably wouldn't have reached the burnout stage, which I did. So... I want to help you guys to understand how you can imp uh, put things in place to help support you at work. So I um, started to implement using essential oils in my business in 2014. And it was within, uh, I was probably about a month or maybe six weeks of using them. I had an experience with one of my staff members that showed me how powerful these can be. So my staff member, um, was well known for having, well, I knew that she had quite a few um, emotional issues and needed some support with emotional um, and, and mental issues that she was dealing with, um, having quite low moods, um, so needed a lot of help and support. And one day she came into work and I could feel her energy. She was in a mood that you knew <laughs> was not a good mood to be in and the whole room changed. And um, as she came in, I was very new to using oils. And I said, oh, here's some wild orange. Go and pop this on your feet. She looked at me like I was strange because seriously, <laughs> it was such a, a weird out there kind of thing to do. But she went and did it because she was a really great employee. And within 10 minutes of her coming back into the salon, I felt the change in the room. I could feel a lot calmer. Her, um, her heaviness had lifted 
she was smiling. And as I looked at her from the other side of the room, I saw that there was a dramatic change in her. And that was just for putting a drop of oil on the bottom of her feet. From that, I was like intrigued. Like I had never experienced anything like that before. And I wanted to know more. I wanted to know how the heck did using an essential oil help this person go from having a really crappy day to lifting things and changing that um, for everyone around her. And so I actually started to look into a bit more about these oils that I had um, started using and realized that the quality of these oils was unlike any other that I'd come across before. So I wanted to know more about them and I looked at um, the, the sustainability and the um, ethical um, sourcing that they do with these oils. And the way that they actually source them from around the world gives you such a pure, potent, therapeutic grade oil that it works in such a different way compared to other oils that you might come in contact with and so I was sold I absolutely was blown away as I dug deeper into what these oils were truly about because I'd used oils before you know I'd been to the health food store and was using lavender to try and keep our um, environment less smelly but also calmer because lavender is apparently a very calming oil I didn't really like it it reminded me of old women with purple hair and pop theory and it's just everyone used to give you a headache because I'm quite sensitive to synthetics and that's generally what's in a lot of the oils that are out there. So finding oils that weren't synthetic and had this kind of impact had me hooked and I saw how this was starting to help this one person and then I started to implement certain things within our business that had an amazing shift. We ended up getting to almost a zen-like grooming experience at our salon. Like our work environment had gone from, if, um, I know that there's, <laughs> there's some groomers who will be joining us um, who know what a grooming salon is generally like. It's very overwhelming. It's fast-paced. It can feel chaotic at times. It was very rare once we implemented um, certain ways of using oils that we had days like that. And when they were, it didn't extend on for a week or longer or months, which used to happen or used to get crazy. We actually had this almost zen-like experience, which totally blew my mind, totally loved it. So why, why do they have such an amazing ability to support us? Well, they actually work quite intricately with our moods and our emotions. So what we're doing with um, using essential oils is we're actually tapping into um, almost the, the immune system of the plant and the, the way that it's able to support all sorts of uh, it attacks. So environmental, seasonal, um, fungus, bacteria, viruses, all that kind of stuff. That's what plants use essential oils for. But there's also other parts of um, essential oils that help our moods and emotions. So when you're using them, you can actually get the benefits, not just physically, but also emotionally mentally you can have them uh, as you breathe them in they actually go into our system and have a chemical reaction with our body it's phenomenal and you can also apply them topically to your skin um, and have very amazing such amazing support from them um, as you are using them that way so when we start to learn how um, how they work on a scientific chemical basis they will they blow your mind. <laughs> there are so many ways that they can help to support you. And this is what I do now. I now teach people how they can use essential oils to help support them because it has absolutely blown my mind with um, the changes that it's been able to make for me. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit tonight. Um, we're not going to go too long. I want to keep this quite brief because I know everyone is, <laughs> is busy. So I'm going to give you some tips and some um, information on why and how you can use the oils to help to support you. So obviously life goes crazy sometimes. Um, we have different working environments. We have different deadlines. We have different things that cause stresses within our um, work environment. So now for myself, I actually work at home on my own and I tend to have my diffuser going or use the oils to help support me personally on a daily basis and even today just coming in to prepare for um, this this talk I've used oils just to help me focus and also calm and so that I can get my message across to help support you guys so we can use them all the time and as we start to implement them into our lives it actually helps to bring our body back into balance and life in general tends to be a lot calmer so it, it does make a real difference in our life and I know I won't name names um, but I have heard quite a number of testimonies where people who used to have quite dramatic emotional um, overwhelm 
times, <laughs> I'm trying to be very compliant here, um, they would be overwhelmed with um, things that were going on around them, have found that using the oils have actually helped to keep them a lot calmer generally in an everyday lifestyle. And so when those things do pop up, it's kind of a rare occurrence rather than it being something that would happen all the time. So it can literally change your whole life. It's amazing. Um, so one of the things that you can do with using um, the oils is actually, there's three ways you can use them. You can use these particular oils, which are doTERRA oils. The quality of these surpass all other oils. Um, and you'll see that the results that you get are when you are using the doTERRA oils. So you can use them three different ways. And I'm going to touch on two mainly um, for tonight. So that's diffusing, so aromatically, not just diffusing, but using them by smelling and also using them topically. But we're mainly going to focus on diffusion. And I want to share with you, um, there's been quite a few studies that people have used doTERRA oils within work environments and had phenomenal results with them. And one of them I want to touch on is from the Vanderbilt Hospital in the US. And this was used, um, this study was actually done on the nurses. So I've got some stats here. Um, what they wanted to do was use oils and see how they could actually keep the work environment calmer. And what they did is they tested, or they, yeah, I guess tested beforehand, they um, interviewed, what is it, surveyed, <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for. They surveyed all the nurses 30 days before starting the, um, the experiment that they're doing and then they also surveyed them 30 days after so after they'd done this experiment and they wanted to see what the difference was by using these oils in their work environment so um, the of the nurses who were studied beforehand the amount that thought that their their work environment was full of stress was at 41% so 41% of people said that their their work life was extremely stressful after the um, experiment it was actually 3% they found that it was a lot less stressful just by diffusing oils. We also had the sense of feeling overwhelmed. 25% said that they felt overwhelmed before, and then it went down to 2% after. Um, those feeling like they were equipped to handle stress beforehand, only 13% said that they were feeling like they were okay to handle stress. And then after, 58%. So you can see it starts to have this shift both ways of um, actually helping us to feel better about how we can handle life. Um, and then we also had those who are feeling like they're at the optimal energy level. Beforehand, 33% said, yep, I'm full of energy and I'm doing great. Afterwards, it was 77% were saying they were feeling quite energized because of diffusing essential oils. So it's that is amazing. <laughs> that's an amazing um, response. And that's just one of the studies. There's been quite a few and a lot of them have actually been done in a hospital environment. There's one that was done in a, an oncology ward. Um, there's one that's done in a triage um, environment. And the oils have played such an amazing role in helping to support people and really give them phenomenal results. So what we're talking about is something that is actually going to work. It's really, really, really powerful. So what we want to do, um, I'm going to give you some options of ways that you can actually use oils to help create a calm environment for you, whether it's you personally, whether it's for your staff, whether it's for your customers and your clients. My clients, I did not get, <laughs> I was very rare to get a cranky person that would come into my salon anymore. Um, it was just a, a total change with that. So I absolutely loved the, the whole shift that we had from taking ourselves from this hectic, crazy environment to something that was pleasant to work in, we were happy and our customers were actually a lot happier too when they came in. Get the oils out there for your customers. Such a good idea. Um, so what we're going to talk about is predominantly we're going to talk about diffusion. Um, so there's ways that you can use diffusers and a diffuser, let me just grab one. It's one I prepared earlier. So this is a diffuser. So a diffuser is, um, it's going to have water in it. So you can see here there's a little red spot here. You just fill up the water to that level and then you pop your essential oils into the water. And what happens is this little plate in the bottom vibrates at very high frequency and creates a mist. And those oil particles actually come up in that mist and are going around the air. And so that can help with all sorts of things. And I'll touch on that in a moment as to what things it can actually help with. But when you're doing that, you're able to support 
everybody in that room because those oils are coming out um, and helping to support them. And the best thing is a diffuser is cold water, which means there's, um, there's no heat, so it's a lot safer. It's also going to um, mean it's the, all your diffusers are also going to cut off um, power once the level of water has gone down and they're not going to burn out. So you don't have flame. Like I used to use an oil burner in my salon when I didn't know better. Don't use that because the heat of um, the flame will actually affect, particularly your doTERRA oils, will affect the quality of those oils and you may still get a nice smell, but the therapeutic grade of those oils will be diminished and you're not going to get the same results from them. So using a diffuser is really great. And this one's a great one because it actually has a one, two and a four hour um, timer. So I know my day kind of changes and you can put some oils in at the start of the day that might be, you want something a bit uplifting to help you feel better and energize for the day. But then through the day, you might feel yourself getting a bit anxious and wanting to calm yourself down. I know that if I start with something in the morning that gets me going, I might actually want something a bit calmer in the afternoon. So having a, um, a, a timer means that I can actually change over the oils that are in there and it's not going to be running all day. So having something like this is um, a really great solution. You can also get um, little nasal inhalers. So these are personal inhalers that you can pop a drop of oil on. I don't think I bought one here to chat but these are really great the little plastic inhalers and you can pop the drops of oil on there and just smell them it's like if you ever use a vix nasal inhaler it's similar except you can create your own with oils so i would often just have them sitting around on my desk and i can just open it and breathe it in it just helps to support me in that way it's really really powerful um, you can also get diffuser jewelry so things that you can wear around your around your neck and also on your arms you can get um like lava bracelet jewelry so these ones have little um i have a lot of people that actually wear these kind of bracelets um at work just those the beads there that have got the lava you uh, apply your essential oil to and as you're wearing them if you're feeling stressed maybe no one knows what i'm doing <laughs> they don't know it's not affecting anyone but it's giving me something i can smell um, i can also rub that onto my hands and smell it that way and i can be getting the support from the oils so you can get diffuser necklaces as well and have them. I often will be holding one up to my nose so I can smell it and no one knows what you're doing. They don't know that you're breathing in essential oils because it just looks like normal jewellery. Um, and if you're spending a lot of time in your car, you can get essential oil diffusers so that they can diffuse like this and they'll actually put the, the um, mist into the air or you can get ones that just clip over your um, car vent and the air will pass through them and help to support um, your moods and emotions that way. So it's really powerful as well. The other thing that you can do is get, so I'm gonna get some from my little stash here. I have a whole stack of little spritzes. So this is a calm me down spritz. And all I would do, it's got some um, really calming oils in here and I would just, I don't want to put too much on because I don't want to fall asleep while I do this. Um, but that is just something I can smell. I can wear it on my clothing as well. So if you don't want to put it onto your skin, wear it onto your clothing and it can help you um, have something throughout the day just to keep you calm. You might need something to wake you up. You might need something that is just a perfume. And the perfume, rather than the horrible ingredients that are in a lot of the perfumes out there are actually going to support your body rather than causing detrimental effects to it so i love having my spritzes and they're just at my door here in my office so i can choose i've got to calm me down a couple of perfumes and a wake me up one um, you can choose what it is that you need i also have one that's going to support my immune system and that in a work environment i don't know about you but anytime someone was sick that caused a lot of stress so what we're doing when we're using our oils too, we can use them for the, the ability they have to support our immune system, to help get rid of germs in the air and keep everyone from taking sick days that affects everybody else and causes more stress. So there's different ways that you can be using them throughout the, the workspace. And I want to share a little story um, that my husband, my husband actually works as an instructor in um, in a flight simulator so he teaches pilots how to fly and what he does is he knows that they're in a very high stress demanding job and the decisions and the reactions that they're having while they're in the simulator can actually affect whether they keep their job or not so there's a lot of pressure on these pilots as they come in and my husband will often use something like wild orange 
and he'll rub it onto his hands. And he just has that there, almost like a personal diffuser to help support these other guys who are coming in and help keep them calm. Wild orange, balance, peace. Ones that are going to be quite calming, grounding. And when we talk about grounding, what that does is that when we're in that, when we're feeling anxious and overwhelmed, we're up in our headspace. We're sitting here going, oh my goodness, the world is going to end. Everything is going wrong. I have to fight or flight basically is what we're in when we're anxious. We're trying to survive. And what we do when we have a grounding oil is it takes us back out of our headspace, gets us to connect with our body and grounds us back into reality basically. So when you use a tree oil, so something that's taken from the actual tree, so not the leaves or anything, but the actual tree is known as a grounding oil and that will help center you and take you out of that headspace. So we'll often use something like balance with our daughter who has tantrums, <laughs> um, but that will actually take her out of that crazy headspace of just like total meltdown and we have seen her totally shift and create uh, be a totally different child within a couple of minutes of using it. And we've used that with staff members too. So I would have some staff members who would be, even myself, <laughs> I'll share another quick one before I go on to some other details. Wild Orange is one of my favourite oils. I am, I'm quite a um, highly sensitive person. So a lot of citrus oils tend to be quite soothing for people who are highly sensitive. So for me, citrus is something that I'm drawn to. And there was a day that I had a phone call, a phone message actually, um, that said, call me back, my, my animal's been in to be groomed with you, I'm not happy. I knew nothing, I didn't know what it was in regards to, but straight away I started to feel anxious, my heart started to beat, my hands started to shake, I was doing shallow breaths, like I was feeling like I was going to die and I was in fight or flight mode. Before I called this person back, I took my wild orange, I put drops in my hand and I just sat there and breathed it in. And as I was breathing that in, the oils were going in through my olfactory sensors into the limbic system of my brain and creating a chemical reaction that actually helped me to feel calmer. So I was able to go from highly heightened anxiety, just not coping with having to speak to someone, being a people pleaser, but also thinking someone wanted to kill me, to being able to cope with being able to answer that or speak to that person on the phone. So that is how you can use them and help yourself remain a lot calmer when you are in your work environment. And there's so many times that we've been able to use the oils um, in a work environment for that purpose. So um, there's some things I'm going to talk about now and how you can actually create a calm working environment. So uh, the quality of the oils, I've touched on that before. The quality of the oils is probably the most important thing that you should look at. If you... Um, if you see essential oils all over the place, because there's a lot of people now that are realizing the benefits of them, there's actually no regulation in the essential oil industry. And someone can say that they've got 100% oil in their bottle. But in Australia, I'm not sure if there's anyone from um, other countries um, joining us, but in Australia, there only needs to be 3% essential oil in a bottle that says it's 100% pure essential oil. I don't know about you, but that makes me quite angry. I want to know that when I have a bottle of oil, what I'm using is safe for me, safe for my children, safe for my animals, and it's also going to work. I get quite sensitive with any kind of chemicals and synthetics, and if that, what, is, what else is in that 97% of that oil? Um, and you'll often find that if you go to health food stores, there's organic oils that say that they're 100% organic, but there's only 1% oil in that bottle. And it says they're one mil or one mil um, pure organic oil. And the rest is a multi-purpose liquid. They don't even need to tell us what's in there. So the quality of the oils are extremely important so that you're not causing any health issues for people, but you're also getting the results that you want. So that's the reason that I choose to use doTERRA because of the quality of the oils that they have um, and the sustainable and ethical ways that they source their oils. Now, one thing I'm really passionate about in creating a calm working environment is actually self-care and there's a lot of people that need to hear this and sometimes it's good to remind myself as well we need to look after ourselves so that we have our cups full enough to help look after other people so there's a few things that you can do with that one is being proactive and actually making sure that you have oils around you so that you can use them when you feel like you need it but also beforehand so how about we set up our day in a way that helps us 
get to work in a way that we're already calm and we're prepared for the day. And one of my favorite things to do is actually called aromatic dressing. So aromatic dressing is um, a fancy word for applying the oils topically to your body. So I use a carrier oil. So you can either use the fractionated coconut oil. This has just had the fat content removed so it stays liquid. It also doesn't um, so, uh, doesn't go rancid, so it has a really long shelf life because the fat content's been removed. It doesn't smell, so it doesn't compete with the oils, and it absorbs really well into your, your skin and doesn't stain your clothes. The other thing that I use is the unscented hand and body lotion. So I like to use this, particularly in Brisbane, where we're quite humid here. I don't particularly want to put an oil on my skin all the time. Um, it just... It's in Brisbane. It's very humid here. I don't like having oil on my skin, even though that absorbs really well. The other thing I will often use is the hand and body lotion, and I will squirt out like a circle of that and then put some drops of oil in the middle, rub it together, and then aromatically dress that way. But I'm going to show you tonight a way that you can use your oils to aromatically dress in the morning. Um, so I'm going to grab... These are some beautiful oils to help keep you calm. So what I've got is... This is a little bowl. Get yourself a really nice little bowl. This is just one from um, Woolies. It's like two bucks. You can go and get them at Woolies. And you pop your fractionated coconut oil in there. So I'm just gonna pop some in. We're doing um, about five to 10 mils in there. Depends on whether you're gonna apply it all over your body or not. And then I'm gonna get my oils. So it's getting close to bedtime. So I'm going to pop on. I don't want to put anything really invigorating, so there's no peppermint. I'm going to pop on some balance in here. Now, this one's actually already diluted. So this is a very calming one, and it helps take you out of that mind crazy space that I was talking about. So I'm going to put a couple of drops of balance in. Take the lid off first. This is one of my favorite oils. So just a couple of drops there. I'm going to pop one on my hand too. I love this. Love this oil. It's really quite calming. And because it's diluted already, I can just apply that onto my neck and smell it as well. And then for me, wild orange is actually quite calming. So this is a good one to kind of get me calmed down for the day or for the night. I'm going to put a couple of drops of that in there. This one comes out a bit quicker. And then we also have some frankincense. Now frankincense is an overall calming oil. So it is known as the king of oils. When in doubt, use frankincense. And this one actually helps to boost the effectiveness of other oils. And this comes from um, uh, Somalia, not Somalia. Yeah, Somalia, <laughs> I'm trying to remember. They source it from Somalia uh, and it's a beautiful oil. I'm just gonna pop a couple of drops in there. There we go. And then what I do in the morning, um, you can also do this before bed at night because what we want to do is have a proactive approach to caring for ourselves. So if you need it just before bed, that's a great option too. I generally do this in the morning as I'm starting the day. I get out of the shower, have my oils out on the bench, and I generally use my hand and body lotion. But at times I'll also use the, um, oh, I don't want to spill it, um, my bowl. So I now have this and I'm out of the shower just stand there and I'll start to dip in here and then I'll get the oil, rub it together and I'll start at the bottom of my legs and work the way up. And as you come up your body, as you dip each time and apply more onto your skin, that starts to absorb into your skin and you get the benefits of those oils. And you can smell them throughout the day depending on what oils you use. Just as a quick side note, if you use citrus oils, be aware that they can become um, photosensitive, which means if you go into the sun where you've applied the oils to, you're, you can be more prone to burning. So if you're going out in the sun, just don't wear citrus oils on your skin. Um, so I'll keep dipping. So I'm going in and getting some more, rubbing it together, applying on my belly and working my way up. And you can, as you're doing this, I actually recommend that you say nice things about yourself, but also calming things. So things like, I'm having a great day at work today. I'm feeling calm and centered. I love my life. I'm beautiful. I'm, I'm, so, I, I'm so effective at how I do my job. I love being at work. Things like that that help to create a new belief with you because what oils actually do is they start to do what's called an aromatic anchor. So a smell. Have you ever had an experience? Let, or let's say you walk past a bread shop. I love the smell of fresh bread. And 
if you, let's say you had your grandma who used to make fresh bread, every time you would smell that smell of fresh bread, it would probably make you think of your grandmother. So what we're doing as we're applying these oils and saying nice things to ourselves, when we smell those oils, it helps us to take us back to those memories and go, you know what? I'm a nice person. I do a great job at work. I love being at work, all those kind of things. So it's a really powerful way of um, anchoring in the beliefs that we have and starting your day in a positive way. So you, I normally will finish with applying to the bottom of my feet. You can put it in the bottom of your hair. Your hair is a great diffuser. Just rub it in to the roots of your hair. If you've got long hair, you can hold it up and smell it throughout the day. It's really powerful. Um, but then I'll rub it together and just calm myself down. And that takes about two minutes through the day uh, to do that in the, the start of the day, sorry. And you can do that again throughout the day if you feel that you need some help with that. The other thing you can do is use some of the um, diluted rollers as perfumes and apply them on through the day and be smelling them. And it's like aromatically dressing with a perfume. How cool is that? It's not going to kill you with all the toxins that are in the other ones. Um, so I highly recommend aromatic dressing for everybody. And I know that a lot of people who I've introduced to this have found it totally life-changing. So I highly recommend that you do it. And we're putting oils on us that are pure quality oils. So we're not putting things that are going to be detrimental to our health. Um, other things we can do for our self-care is rest, resting. And sometimes when our mind is going crazy, we can't rest. If you're like me, I'm, I'm hyper, hyper vigilant and I'm doing lots of stuff. Sometimes I need to actually calm down. And one of the, yes, it's here. One of the blends that's actually really great for keeping you focused and sometimes focus can be focused on um on sleep or focused on resting just taking away all those thoughts of a million things it's called in tune so this is a focus blend but you can also use um peppermint and wild orange together or peppermint lemon and wild orange rub those together in your hand and just smell them they help to keep you they can awaken you if you don't want to be awakened with that take out the peppermint use your lemon it's a, a great focus oil and your wild orange is um, going to help energize you as well so lemon on its own is a really great focus oil afternoon slump do the three of them it's called a um, 2 p.m pick me up it's like a it's like a mother <laughs> without all the terrible things that are in it or a v or one of those energy drinks it's really great um, pick me up um, the other thing we want to do as part of the self-care is actually support ourselves before things get to the stage where we're having that meltdown or that overwhelm or the, the panic that sets in. We want to actually make it so that it's a normal thing. We set up routines throughout the day that are just quite simple, very easy to do to help us manage life that's going on. And if you know that there's stressful times going up, coming up it's really important to put things in place that help to support you through that so if you've got a big deadline that's coming up you might want to use some oils that help you sleep better at night keep you calm through the day your sleep at night is actually going to be improved when you have less stress through your day so when you're using your oils to help keep you calm through the day you're going to sleep better and then when you're at work you're not going to be a cranky pants <laughs> and affecting everybody so you can use your oils in a proactive way to not get to the, the time where everything's overwhelming you and it's too far gone. And I'll be totally honest, the last um, week or two, I've actually slipped a little bit because I've had so much on and I haven't been aromatically dressing and I've felt the difference. I've felt that I haven't had this um, support that I've been used to for over 12 months because we've been traveling and then I've been away and um, lots of stuff going on and I hadn't got my routine set up again. And I didn't have the oils available right there as I got out of the shower and I felt the difference in my body I felt my anxiety is kind of lifted I mean um, heightened so I'm a bit more anxious about things going on a bit more overwhelmed with things I'm not thinking as well and when we're in a work environment we want to be at our peak no matter what that is um, whatever work we're doing we want to be at our peak um, now we can also um, help to support our energy levels as well and we can use that by using the oils and a great one is actually wild orange something like peppermint is really good too kind of an energy boost and there's also some combination oils one that i love is called motivate that just helps you get stuff done it's like a kick up the pants um it helps with the procrastination if you've got deadlines coming if you've got things you've got to do if you've got to get up and go to work and you can't be stuffed 
pop some motivate in your diffuser, wear it, um, add it with some passion, which is an inspiring blend and it helps you feel a bit more inspired about life. <clears throat> it's a really good way um, to get you going in the daytime. Um, now you can also make sure when you're, when you're at work that you're eating appropriately. So we can often get to that three o'clock time, two, three o'clock, and we feel like we need to reach a, for a sugary snack. Now that can sometimes give us that energy boost, but then we've got the crash afterwards. So there's actually oils that can help you to curb sugar cravings and help you have a bit more energy. And that's what we want to do is we want to naturally use ways to um, support our body without having to have those peaks and troughs or peaks and troughs and just kind of have things a lot more, you know, like a bit more of a wave rather than mountains. Um, so there are oils, there's one that's called Smart and Sassy, and um, that will actually help to curb sugar cravings and it can also help melt away those unwanted parts in your body um, we're doing a challenge in our community at the moment um, my oily community and it's amazing seeing um, how people are using that oil and having great results so there's some information here so we're going to talk about some five of the reasons to actually diffuse essential oils at work so i'm just going to get my notes here so number one is that it's going to actually calm frazzled emotions so we want to keep things calm that's what we want you know that's number one that's what we want to do is make things more enjoyable for people to, to be around, more enjoyable for our clients, more enjoyable for the animals if we're groomers. Um, so keeping things calm. And what happens is when you are calm and your workmate's calm and that workmate's calm and someone comes into that environment and it's being supported with calm people, that tends to overwhelm them and help them to come down to that calmer environment as well. It's kind of like osmosis. It's amazing. It really does work. And when people are using things in a proactive way, it can help to support those other people around them. So there's a few different oils that you can help with those really crazy emotions. Um, so calming oils, um, you can also blend these together. Things like cedar wood, serenity, which or lavender peace, which is a calming restful blend that doTERRA have. Um, and one that's called peace. So Peace is a, um, a blend that was actually made by a lady who had a son with, I think it was ADHD, so just all over the place, crazy, um, and it just helped calm his mind down and calm him down. Um, and doTERRA has created a similar blend that's got a couple of extra oils in there. It's extremely calming. And a lot of people who struggle with feeling quite anxious use this oil and it's amazing for them. So that's a really good one. Even just lavender on its own, Vetiver, bergamot, and sandalwood can be really good to help keep you calm. Now, <laughs> sometimes at work, we're not really positive, and you can use oils to help change that feeling about not being wanting to be at work. So um, you can diffuse oils like wild orange, lime, lemon, grapefruit, thick, thick citrus oils, citrus bliss. Um, another really good one is cheer. So cheer is a cheer often people think I'm saying chia, but chia is a happy oil. It helps, it's an uplifting blend. So it helps you to feel better about where you are. Um, so you can be diffusing that one and that can, it can totally change an environment. And you know what? Um, <laughs> another study was actually done about the emotional aromatherapy oils that doTERRA have. And one oil that surpassed all others in how it helped to create a calm working environment was actually an oil called forgive. So it, it just totally, I, I don't tend to use this oil enough, but I probably should use it more because of how it helps um, calm those sense of anger, um, frustration, all those negative emotions. It really does help keep them calm. So, and help you not be so angry at those people around you who may not be doing what they're supposed to be doing. So, um, the other benefit that we've got, like I touched on before, is being able to use these oils for helping to get rid of airborne germs and bugs and all that kind of stuff. So you can be diffusing them to help keep everyone healthy and help um, prevent passing on nasty germs and stuff. So we often used a, a spritzer um, just with On Guard, which is every workshop workplace should have On Guard. This is a it's known as a protective blend. Um, and this one's like, it's got cinnamon and clove and rosemary and wild orange and eucalyptus and there's something else in there and cinnamon. So, um, this oil is great at supporting your immune system. And if you diffuse that, it will help 
purify the air. But we would also put it in a spritzer, so with some water in a little spray bottle, and we would spray the phones, we'd spray the benches, anything. If someone was sick, we would go and spray that after they'd been using it, just so that we wouldn't be passing on those germs. And you can use that as a like a hand sanitizer as well if you go to the bathroom, um, if you go to the shopping and the shopping trolleys. Don't talk to me about that. Um, but yeah, On Guard is an amazing one to help with um, airborne germs. But things like oregano and also tea tree help with just getting rid of the horrible stuff that goes around there. Now, I did touch on this a little bit before. Um, another great way to reason for diffusing oils would be for a mid-afternoon pick-me-up. So rather than reaching for a, you know, your 10th coffee or an energy drink or something like that, you can use oils to help give you a boost. And the peppermint, wild orange, and also adding frankincense Peppermint and frankincense together is known as a brain massage. So what it does is it goes, you put the drop of each in your hand, breathe it in, and it sends a message to your brain to wake up and get going with everything. Um, and it really does work. If you add your wild orange in there, it gives it a bit of an extra boost as well with a little energy boost there. So in the afternoon when you're feeling a little bit heavy and slow and sluggish, use your oils to help boost that and get you going a bit more. Um, and then one of the other main reasons for diffusing, so number five, is to get rid of those unwanted smells. <laughs> like I, I touched on this right at the start. I used to use lavender in my salon to help with the, the dog smell. And I'd use it in my laundry, in, so in the washing of the towels, just to help keep that a bit less stinky. Um, and so yucky smells happen at work. And you can use these oils in a way to just smell good. But as, as I've mentioned before, these oils are therapeutic grade and the quality and the potency of them means that even if you're just diffusing them for a nice smell, every single one of these oils has a benefit to our, our system, whether that's emotional, physical, mental, spiritual, whatever it is, it has a way of supporting us. So as we diffuse those oils, we are going to have a nice, pleasant aroma, but it also helps to calm everything that's going on as well. So there's really good um, options that can be used instead of some of those toxic, you know, those 30 second on, 30 second off air purifier things, um, even soy melts and all that kind of stuff. They've generally got ingredients in there that are actually quite toxic to us. Please don't use them. Get a diffuser put some really high quality oils in there, get the doTERRA oils and use them to support yourself, not just for the smell, but also for the therapeutic benefits. So um, some really good options. You can also always blend your oils together too. You just have fun. You choose a couple of oils and put them together. So it's a really great way of um, killing a few birds with one stone. Five reasons just there, how we, or benefits of using um, a diffuser at work. So we can also have, what I used to do is I would actually let my staff choose the oils that they were drawn to on that day. And the reason I did that was because it benefited me for them to choose the oils because we are actually drawn to things that we need. So if someone thought, oh, yay, I'm going to put on some cheer and some elevation, which is another one that lifts their mood, I'm like, Awesome, because I need you to be happy about being here today. So having little diffuser stations is a really great idea, having some oils around and allowing the other people who are there, um, if you're an employer, allowing them to choose the oils for the day, such a great um, way to support them. And look, if you've got your own oils as well and you've got other people coming in or even if you're um, working on your own, let other people choose them sometimes. Like I'll often let my kids choose too. Um, if you've got a partner, you might let them choose. Um, but as you do that, you're also allowing them a bit of that, um, the experience of using the oils and helping to support them. So hopefully that's given you some uh, ways that you can help to create a really calm working environment. And look, this is what I do now. This is how I love to support people in learning how to use these oils for a whole manner of things. So if you are interested in using oils, please reach out to me and I'd love to support you. If someone else has been talking to you about using oils, please go back to them uh, and see how they, they can support you. As part of um, me supporting you, you actually get access to an amazing um, oily community and you get support from me on how to use the oils and implement them into your life and look if you're interested in also being able to share them in your workplace and help get free oils as well and get things paid for that's another option that we've got as well so reach out to me and 
I would love to help you. There's a great, great opportunity to be able to support yourself in this and support other people. So you can check out my website, which is Vitalia, V-I-T-A-L-I-A dot com dot au and there's information there on how to um, open your own account or other details about doTERRA as well so i want to thank you for joining me tonight i hope that you've really enjoyed that and there's been some really great tips there and i hope that you'll be able to use them in helping to create a really calm environment so thank you for joining me